Today we're going to explore the management and creation of passkeys on an Android phone for passwordless login. Hello everyone, today we're going to be exploring the management of passkeys on the Android phone. There's a link to videos that we've done in the past on passkeys, but this is the first one we've done on the management of passkeys. All right, we're going to jump into this. The passkeys.io site is what we're going to use to create passkeys. Over here on the left is the Android phone. We're going to walk through what we need to do to be able to show you how to manage passkeys on an Android phone. So the first thing you want to do is go into settings, come down to Google services. Under Google services, you're going to click autofill. Now, if you have a password manager installed on the device, it's going to stop the autofill of that, but you can reinitiate it. So, but this is necessary to go through this. And we're going to select autofill with Google. Then we'll select the Google password manager. Once you select the Google password manager, come to the gear icon and come down to add a shortcut to your home screen and then click add. Once you do that, you'll have a shortcut to the Google password manager. So open that up and any pass keys you create will be stored here. So we'll demo that. We'll come in here. We're going to use this Authentrin email account. Now, when we go to create this passkey, you're going to notice that Bitwarden is going to pop up. Then the Windows operating system is going to pop up. I'll show you that here. So we create a passkey because you can store these in your password manager, but we're going to click use browser. What that will do is it'll pop up Windows security. And we could also store the passkey on the Windows operating system. But we're going to come down here and say use another device. That will give us additional options. At that point, we can say use the iPhone or Android device. Click Next. And now we'll have a QR code that will pop up. At that point, we can launch the Lens application, scan the QR code, and say Use Pass Key. We'll click OK down here on the bottom of the screen. And if you have multiple profiles on the phone down here, you can select which profile you want it to be stored on. We're going to do, use the Authentrend profile. And we'll click Continue. To re authenticate to the phone, that's part of the authentication process. And now the pass key is saved. And we'll click OK. Come over here and we'll just rename this just so we can keep it straight. All right, so we have an Android pass key. It doesn't show up immediately on the left over here on the phone. What we'll do is we'll relaunch the application. And now you see we have a pass key over here on the Android phone. And that's how you manage it. What we can do is close out of this account, sign out. Okay, to use the pass key, we're just going to click sign in with pass key. And we'll select the iPhone, iPad, Android device. Select next. We'll launch the Lens application again. We'll scan the QR code and we'll select use the pass key. Down here, we'll select OK. And we'll select more options. And we want to select this device because we want the passkey stored on the phone. And here we'll select continue. It's asking us to re-authenticate to the phone. And you're signed in. Just that simple. The next thing I want to show is an easier way to use the passkey on the Android device. So we're going to sign out of the account here. And we're going to click sign in with a pass key. This time what we're going to do is select the authenticated Android phone. We have an iPhone, iPad, Android device, but we're going to select the authenticated phone on the account. Next. And over here we select more options and select this device. That's the account. Continue. Now it's asking us to authenticate to the phone. And just that easy, we're logged into the account. Much simpler than scanning a QR code. Now, when you click on this pass key, if you want to manage it, you have to authenticate to the phone again. And the only thing you can do when you click edit, and it's not showing on the screen because of security limitations, but I'll show you over here on the web on passwords.google.com. And this is the pass key, pass key IO. And when you click on it, you can 
edit the passkey, but the only thing you can do is either edit the name or the username, or you can delete the passkey. That's the extent of the management of passkeys on the account. So to recap that, we created a shortcut to the Google Password Manager, which showed up on the screen of the phone. We used the Lens application as the authentication method to scan the QR code for the passkey. We showed you two different ways to log in with the passkey, either using the iPhone Android device selection, which would require you to scan the QR code, or use the specific authenticated Android device and you will only have to authenticate to the phone, which makes the authentication process a little easier. That's a wrap on how to create and manage passkeys on an Android device. We'd love to hear about your experiences and the use of passkeys. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and have a great and wonderful hack-free day.